Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a client makeup tutorial on my sister. Hey guys! Today you guys are going to be seeing on what products I use for clients and how I apply them and why I use it. So for this look I use the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia and a Glossy Lip by NYX and I hope you guys enjoy! has mascara on I'm gonna be taking this Clinique take the day off balm and just putting it on her eyes to wipe off all the mascara she already has on before we put on foundation we're gonna want to moisturize her face and I'm using this Clinique a dramatically different moisturizer and I'm gonna be taking a pea size amount and placing it all over her face So now I'm going to be taking Benefit's Pore Professional to fill in her pores and prawn. I'm placing that right along her cheeks, her nose, her forehead, and her chin, wherever she has the most problematic areas. And I'm just lightly blending that out with my finger. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Lancome 24 Hour Wear, and this is in the shade 210 Buff In. So now I'm just taking this clean metal foundation palette, and I'm going to be taking two squirts of this foundation. Two pumps, two squirts, sounds really weird. So I just took two pumps of this foundation onto the palette. <laughs> And now I'm just going to be going in with a foundation brush and placing it all over her face. And you're going to want to spread this out evenly across the face so you get an even coverage. And you're going to want to take it down the neck so everything is blended out. Now I'm taking this damp Real Technique sponge and using the flat side to blend it out on her face. And I'm patting the foundation in instead of swiping so it creates a more even coverage. So now I'm going to be using Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair for under her eyes and to highlight. And I'm also going to be covering any blemishes she has just to perfect the skin. So now I'm going to be taking the same sponge and blending it out in the same patting motion. So now I'm going to be taking a cosmetics brow power and filling in her eyebrows. And I'm brushing them through first with the spoolie side to get them in her natural shape and I'm just lightly filling them in. Starting at the front of her brow, just lightly outlining the point of her eyebrow and just going on top and lining at the top. And as I'm doing this, I'm filling in her eyebrow just by stroking the hairs. And I'm going to be repeating the same steps on this eyebrow. So after they're filled in, you're going to want to go back in with the spoolie side and brush them up. Now I'm taking a concealer brush and just placing some of the product and cleaning up her brows. So going right on top of the brow and going right down to where her arch is. So now I'm going to be taking Anastasia's brow gel in clear and setting her brows in place. So now I'm going to be taking the same concealer and placing it on her eyelids. 
and blending it out with the same sponge as a base for eyeshadow. So now to bake her under eyes and set her eyelids, I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is the best powder in my opinion. It keeps people matte all day and it's one of the best powders I've ever used. So I'm going to have the client look up and I'm going to be taking the flat side and placing it right under her eyes so it catches all the fallout and it sets the area so she looks poreless. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking Anastasia's Modern Renaissance. Anastasia has the best formulated eyeshadows and it's my favorite to use on clients other than Morphe palettes. To start off the look, I'm going to be taking the shade Burnt Orange and placing that right in the creases of her eye. And since she does have green eyes, a reddish kind of more orangey tones look the best on her and brings out the color in her eyes. So now I'm going to be going in with the shade Red Ochre and placing it right on the V's of her eyelids. And I'm going over her lid with the shade also. So now I'm going to be taking this clean blending brush and just blending out all of the shadows. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Tempera and placing that right on the inner corners of her eye that I didn't place eyeshadow on before. This just brightens the eyes up a lot and so they appear larger than they actually are. Now I'm blending the two together. So now I'm going to be going in with Max Fluid Line in the shade Dip Down, which is just a dark brown shade instead of a black, which complements her eyes a lot better than a black wood. Now I'm going in with an angled brush and I'm placing that on her top. <laughs> And I'm placing that on her top waterline. And I'm going to get her to open her eyes but look down and not close it so that we can get a good perspective of what the eyeliner will look like. So now I'm going to be taking this shader brush and I'm going to be smudging that liner. So I'm going to take my finger right above her brow and have her look down and just lightly smudge that liner. So now I'm going to be taking this powder brush and just wiping off all the bake we put on earlier that caught all of the fallout. And I'm just lightly sweeping that. Now I'm going to be going in with these red cherry lashes in the style 217 with my House of Lashes lash glue. Before placing the lashes on, you're going to want to make sure that the glue is tacky so you can wave it a little. Do not apply the lashes right when you apply the glue since it will not stick. So now I'm going to be going in with that red ochre shade. <laughs> placing it under her eyes so I'm going to have her look up and to the sides. That side. That's. So now I'm going to be going back in with that same eyeliner from MAC and going over her lash band to hide the lash band. So if it were an actual client, I'd be using a disposable mascara wand, but since this is her own, I'm going to be using the one that's already attached with her mascara since this is hers and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to blend her false lashes in with her real ones. And I'm going to have her look down and I'm just going to twirl the lashes up and I'm also going to be applying that on her bottom lashes. Now I'm going to be taking the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and placing it on the hollows of her cheeks. So now I'm going to be taking that on her jawline 
in down her neck just a bit. So now I'm gonna be placing that on the sides of her forehead to bronze up her forehead. So now I'm gonna be taking it on the sides of her nose and she doesn't need any nose contouring since she already has a small nose. So now I'm gonna be taking this Tarte blush palette, it's really pretty. And one of these shades actually fell out. I'll be going in with the shade Prim in this Tarte palette and just lightly placing that on the apples of her cheeks. And now I'm going to be taking the same brush that I use for her bronzer and I'm going to be blending those two together. Now I'm going to be going in with Becca's highlight in <laughs> Moonstone with a fan brush and I'm just going to be placing that on the high points of her face. on the bridge of her nose, her cupid's bow, and a little bit on her forehead. For lips, I'm going to be taking this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. So now to finish off her look, to make it last all night, I'm going to be taking Urban Decay Setting Spray and just spritzing it. Uh -oh. Thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in my next one bye, bye. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs>